a little different style of getting there with Gaz in this episode because, you know, we talk about the career journeys of athletes, coaches, business owners, media members, and more. We're going to talk a little career stuff with our pal Joey Chestnut, the greatest competitive eater of all time. And my guy Jeff Levac joins us. Levac, let me, by let me, I showed up to his house and said, I need some help with this tech stuff. Please let me do this interview with you. And yes, he hops in on this and helped me out tech-wise to set up our conversation with Joey Chestnut. But before we get to Joey, I got to tell you about our friends over at Mohawk Honda. I'm driving the pilot around the capital region. Some of you are already on vacation. Maybe you're in the car right now. Listen to us. Go on your vacation. Do you like the car you're in right now? Is it time for an upgrade? Don't waste time. Get to Mohawk Honda and find out the ride that works for you. I did it. I made the change, so I'm not concerned about some of the trips I'm taking this upcoming summer and more. Do the same for yourself. And for some of you, it's time to trade in. Get the money in your hands. Go to Mohawk Honda where they give you top dollar for your trade-in. And they have tons of inventory for you to choose from. The largest inventory of any vehicles in the capital region in upstate New York. Find the vehicle that's right for you. You talk about value, Mohawk Honda has that for you. And it's how you're treated. The whole crew across the board from the Herodin family to Andy Gallant, Greg Johnson, the McKenna's, the Ellis's and more. I get to know a family. You hear family names right there. That's how it really is at Mohawk Honda. Do yourself a favor. Stop it. Either trade in that vehicle or get yourself into a new ride. Don't feel pressured into buying something from another dealer. The best you can do is by going to Mohawk Honda. This summer selection is king. No one has more to choose from than Mohawk Honda. I know it. The pilot's in the driveway ready to hit those summer road trips. Now you can do it for yourself. Stop over to Mohawk Honda right there in Glenville where they always go out of their way to please you. Now, our conversation with our pal, Joey Chestnut. <laughs> Joey Chestnut, Nathan Stamus Hot Dog Eating Contest is this Sunday. Joey, we talked to you for the last seven years in a row here in the Capital Region. We love cheering you on. How are you feeling getting ready for this weekend's event? I'm feeling uh, I'm feeling really good. I'm excited. This is going to be a, it's going to be a good year, and uh, I'm I'm, I'm going to be pushing hard for a record. Joey, when's the last time you actually ingested a hot dog? Oh my God! Well, going into the Fourth of July, I, I do a practice probably every fifth or sixth day, and uh, it's so so it, it's it, I'm never going too long without too long without a hot dog, and uh, I every practice I go in absolutely empty, and uh, so so it, it's it, it, yeah I'm I'm hungry and I'm I'll be I'll be uh, I'll be hungry. Yes, that's what we like to hear, man. We're so fired up to watch you like we do every single year, and I feel like for all the years we've talked to you, I don't know if we've ever actually asked you this. What was the first eating competition? How'd you actually get started doing this? Dude, it was it was not my idea at all. My little <laughs> brother knew I was the big, he my little brother knew I, I was the biggest eater in the family and uh he signed me up to my first contest and I was like I was like feeling ashamed of it like like oh he just called me called me a glutton and this and that but uh as soon as I got on the stage I uh, I fell in love with it and I was eating lobster and I had never eaten lobster before but it was just like I fell in love with the whole thing like I was on stage eating in front of people and doing something I was kind of ashamed of because I always had this crazy appetite and uh but it was like people just yelling at me keep going and I was beating the people on my left and right and uh I, it was just it was just perfect I found my calling Joey Chestnut with us and Joey like it I'm the big guy so everybody thinks I can eat a lot I just I just can't eat fast like what what clicks in your brain where you're just like yeah I'm full yeah whatever but uh, let's shove two more hot dogs in my mouth like how does how does that work mentally Oh, it's uh, it's weird because like I'm I'm naturally a fast eater. Uh, I have brothers, and my dad would steal my food. And it, so, if, if we ever wanted seconds, it was definitely going to be a I eat fast. And uh, but yeah, it would, and then it's competition mode. Uh, it, it's uh, it's just a weird like I'm on on stage in front of people. I'm not doing this to to lose, and uh, so I might as well push a little bit farther, push past that feeling of uh, uncomfortable. And it, it's uh, and it, it's it's kind of like you know, a boxer goes into a boxing ring knowing they're gonna, they're they probably are gonna get hit and it's gonna hurt. And a marathon runner goes into a marathon knowing it's gonna they're gonna feel like trash afterwards. And so I have to go in knowing that hey, I'm not eating for fun. I'm not eating for just for nutrition. I, I'm eating 
to to win, and, it's, and, I'm, and I'm going in willing to accept feeling like garbage for a day and a half. That's why you're the greatest of all time there right is. there. That attitude, that drive to be the best. And some people may not be familiar with what they're talking about because we're taping this a few days before July 4th. That competition mode, you train your body. Take us through exactly what you do to prep your body for that competition on July 4th, days in advance. Oh, days in advance. Yeah, we're doing this interview early, but uh, about a day and a half fast before, before the contest. It's like a Hollywood cleanse, and lemon juice and water. Make sure I'm absolutely empty. Make sure it's a clean road for uh, things to digest. And uh, before that, it, it, it's pretty much seven weeks of every fifth or sixth day uh, doing a hot dog practice uh, and, and doing this cycle of, of practice, recovery, cleanse, prep for uh, get, do another practice. And every, every one, I, I try to get a little bit, uh, increase my numbers a little bit more and push a little bit farther. Joey, what's the weight swing? Like when, when you're done with the fast to when you're done with the contest? Oh yeah. So, so it, I love my, uh, yeah, when, when I do that, that day and a half cleanse, uh, I'll, I'll drop about thirteen pounds. Uh, it, 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 it's and it, it's I mean, it's, a lot of it's water, and, but but it, but it, a lot it, there there are things coming out. And then uh, day of the contest, it's uh oh man, they, we're talking I think sixteen pounds of uh, hot dog and bun, and then uh, probably another gallon of water. So sort of, sort of, it, so it, I, I've weighed I've weighed ooh twenty five and twenty six pounds, but it, it's pretty normal that, that from before the practice to after. Even though he's eating in Coney Island, upstate New York always has love. Capital Region, upstate New York, always loves the root on Joey Chestnut on July 4th. Now, you're going to have some competition. Is there one, two, a couple guys this year for the 2021 event you're looking at saying, you know what, they might be the ones who push me deep into this competition? Yeah, there's definitely, there's one guy, yeah, that's standing out. There's Jeff Esper, and he's, he beat me in a, in a number of contests, and uh, I, uh, you know, I, I'm excited. I, 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 get, I part of me is a little bit nervous, but uh, I, I, the other part of me is like, all right, uh, it, it gives me a reason not to be lazy. And he's a uh, he's, he's a power lifter, and he, you know, he he doesn't love hot dogs like I do. And uh, and Fourth of July is my favorite holiday, and he's uh, he knows that uh, on the Fourth of July I'm, I'm going to beat him in a hot dog contest. Our guy Levac here is laughing because I knew the question he was going to ask me. Uh, ask you actually was it the meat sweats. We've talked oh, about yeah. with you in years past where Coney Island gets hot on the Fourth of July, Joey. What's the weather look like? Because some people don't realize this: the weather can play a factor in each year's competition. A little bit, yeah. This year it's not looking too bad. It, it, it's uh, it's looking at seventy-five degrees and uh, I think seventy-something percent humidity. So it's not too not too humid. It, it definitely has been worse, but uh, it, it's it's going to be it's it's uh. Yeah, I, I, I feel like weather shouldn't play a big role this year, but uh, I feel like you know that once I start sweating, it, it, it's pouring in the meat, especially five minutes into the contest. It's, uh, it, it's, a, it's a ridiculous amount of sweat that comes out, and uh, there's no stopping it, but you know, it, it, I just, it, I'm, just, I'm going to keep going. You know, it's the amazing part about this, too. The competition, the dominance, the run you've had in the Nathan's Famous Hot Dog Eating Contest. But in the future, there might be somebody who's watching this who says, I want to be the next Joey Chestnut. I want to take him down a year from now. Do you have advice for people who watch this every year and say, hey, I think I can do that. I can be a competitive eater. What's the advice you give people watching and say, all right, if you want to do this, you got to start doing this? Yeah, I definitely give advice. I, I lo- and it's, it's all happening already. There's guys who are like 23 and 24 who say they've, they've been watching me when they were children. I was like, wow, it's probably it's really possible. <laughs> I guess uh, I have been doing it that long. <laughs> it makes me feel like a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's, uh, it's, it's now, now I'm out eating and drinking with these guys. I'm like, wow. <laughs> but um, I, the biggest, the most advice I give them is uh, the best advice is that uh, keep, keep a food journal, a, a diary of pretty much everything you're eating and how you're feeling. And uh, how you're pushing yourself, and like why you why are you slowing down? Because sometimes you think you're slowing down. Oh, I, like oh, I, I couldn't eat anymore. But like you, you got to think a little bit more. Like what was keeping you back? Were you nauseous? Were, were the muscles in your throat tired? Were you, were you was your stomach actually distended? Or were, were you full? So so a lot of it's just you know, dig a little bit deeper and and really uh, figure out what's uh, holding you back. Joey Chestnut, is there any truth to the rumor on starting that you're going to star in Space Jam 3? I wish. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> How great would that be? Like, you have to. Pretty much, pretty, 
You have to out eat aliens to save the planet. I'm ready for this one. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 that's that's what I've been practicing for for the last 16 years is to be on Space Jam Three. <laughs> <laughs> the entrance, Joey, every year. That's the clip that goes viral on YouTube and social media when you actually come out. Do you know? What the legend Shay is going to say when you're stepping up to the stage there? Do you have an idea? Are you laughing? Are you too focused? Because, man, that stuff he says is hysterical every year. Oh, my God. Some of the things he says, they dig deep. Like, he'll, 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 like there was the year I lost in 2015, and then the year I came in 2016, his introduction, like, went dug deep. Like, oh, he, after he lost, he was like a boy with nothing. He was just <laughs> lost. And, and he 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 go he, he's 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 amazing he's he's a poet and uh and sometimes sometimes it, even though I'm really amped up and excited I also I, it still like makes me laugh a little bit but uh I, I definitely hear it and uh it is yeah almost always a, a surprise and he loves to bring out new material every year we love it every year July fourth Nathan's famous hot dog eating competition for seven consecutive years this guy's been nice enough to join us here in the capital region to talk about that year's eating competition. He is the great Joey Chestnut. Joey, we thank you every year for taking some time. We know it's so busy for you. We love hearing your stories. Don't worry. This time next year, your phone's going to ring from a 315 or 518 area code again, and we'll talk again next year. <laughs> Joey, thank you so much, man. Good luck this Sunday. Thank you. You guys have a great, great 4th of July. You too. There he goes, Joey Chestnut. And the only reason you're over here is, like, I literally came out of my kitchen, and I have the technology for you to call Joey Chestnut. Gaz is in my kitchen. Like, thank you, Levac. That's, that's the like, thing. Is like we've been doing it, we've been doing this forever, and you and I are testing out some stuff right now. I'm like I, I need help. Joey Chestnut coming on the air with us. I think back in 2015 when I was producing the show and you were hosting. Yeah, I still remember the email that said, "Hey, uh, Gaz is gonna book Joey Chestnut. Do we? Have, yeah. I'm there, and I think it was Armin's like. Oh uh, yeah, I think everyone wants to know like, how the right. hell they get his number, and he's come on every year for seven years in a row. And it's and it's literally like like I said, I, you know, I come downstairs, Gaz is here, ready to go, and calls him out of the blue. He answers, and he talks about eating hot dogs and everything and everything else. And I think that, like he's literally gotten to that point now where he's he's comfortable with us. So like I think when we first started talking to him, we were like 50, 60 hot dogs deep on how comfortable he was with us. Now we're like the walkout. Like he doesn't he doesn't even. <laughs> there's no meat sweats. There's no sodium buildup. I do I do have a question I'm afraid to ask him that I might have to save for next year. Okay. Can you imagine being the doctor has to give that guy a colonoscopy? <laughs> that is gonna be like I, I might I might call into work that day. I'd be like, you know what? You're good. Everything's good. Everything's good, buddy. It looks fine in there, there's, Joey. There's no way I need anything to do with what's going on in there. Would That's you, okay. Would you want to watch it happen? Like, would you want to go one year to Coney watch Island? Watch a colonoscopy? No. no not- I, I woke up during mine. That was uncomfortable. <laughs> I feel like watching uh Joey Chestnut eat is a sight to behold at Coney Island. Oh, yeah. But there is something truly American about watching it in high definition. <laughs> there it is. 69 inches of pure Joey Chestnut pounding down. It was 69 inch TV? 68. What did I say? Uh, I pounding just... down a wiener. <laughs> well, it's I, all right. Do you eat hot dogs during it? I do. Yeah, you have to. Like, what's how many hot dogs do you eat during? Nathan's finest Fourth of July hot dog eating contest. Believe it or not, Levac, I've competed in not one but two hot dog eating contests with my friends back home, not sanctioned by the International Federation Competitive Eating, whatever that's called, IFC. Uh, six. I, um, six I did. I did the the contest at the Hideaway, and I got worked. I think I came in like last because <laughs> I'll eat. I can eat hot dogs all day long. Like during the during the course of that broadcast, I'll eat at least six. Yeah, no problem. I'll do that. But if I try in like ten minutes. I'm like, I'm, you might as well put like a little nice like napkin, like, I'm like eh, pardon me, my mustache has got a small bit of muscle. I'll stop. Like, I, I can't eat fast. I can just eat a lot. <laughs> like, if we're going lifetime achievement, I got a chance. If we're going toe to toe with chestnut, I don't even. Nah, I'm good. I. By the way, the people who hate on it, like you're gonna see the people because oh, yeah. we're taking this is coming. I got gluttony. Oh. Yeah, this is the day it got released was June 30th. So you're gonna see like leading up to July 4th. Oh. How could they? This is disgusting. <laughs> I want you to roast. If you've got social media, I want you to roast everybody who says it. Peter yeah. King, especially. Legendary NFL oh. writer. I hope people destroy him on Twitter about bashing the hot dog eating contest. This man is an American treasure, Joey Chestnut. Dude, it's and it's like he said, the training that goes into it. Like, think about this. Could you do a full blown fast for a day and a half? Could you could you could you put on twenty five pounds in a day? And don't, oh, but there's people starving. How many donations have you made to the regional food bank? 
You know what I mean? You want to make me, you, everyone is allowed to shame us once for doing this interview. If you show proof of donating to the regional food bank, that's it. <laughs> Everybody else shut your damn mouth. Is there a better sporting event on July 4th in the hot dog eating contest? Like, uh, it could be like, if it, like baseball had, let's just say Yankees, Red Sox. Okay. Every year Yankees playing Red Sox July 4th, that would win. NBA finals. This year it's Mets Yankees. That's pretty okay, big. That's let's, pretty cool. But no, you know what? It's, it's gotta be something like that though. It's gotta be like, like, uh, like, like cornhole in your yard or something like those are the only ones that even even register. It's the Fourth of July, actually. No, the 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 what the ten the ten yard dash when you light a wick and you run for your life. That's the best sporting event on the Fourth of July. <laughs> I fear fireworks. <laughs> well, of course I'm you do. So afraid. Even the little sparkler things. What are these things called? <laughs> run. The sparklers. Like, every year my wife gets a sparkler towards me and she runs at me. And I'm <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, dude, it's real. Now we know. Yeah. Vampires have garlic. Gaz has sparklers. You just ever need to get Gaz <laughs> away from you. F- 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 Frankenstein has fire. You know, I have I have a well balanced diet. These are things that scare us away. And then Gaz, <laughs> one well placed sparkler, small little piece of fireworks. <laughs> That's it. It's all tears. Well, this was fun. This was the first interview you and I did together with anybody in six months. Joey was great. And again, only because I have the technology to do it here. That's why you came over. No, that's not true. We had a, a one of those popsicles you got me. Oh, yeah. The Bud Light Seltzer popsicles. Yeah, those I, are... I, your daughter graduated high school. We had a drink or two. Yeah. And that did help me, by the way. <laughs> All right. I think and, gonna... and you possess the technology I need to do this. <laughs> yeah, I know. I got it. Because what I did is you're lucky because I brought everything home from the uh, Techies Fire and Water Restoration Studios today to uh, check it out. So you got lucky. You got lucky. It's a good plug right there. Thank all you. Right. Thank uh, you. I have a feeling, I'll be here all week. I have a feeling you and I are going to be talking soon. Is that all I can say now?